Hi, welcome back to Trade Ups with Zed. Uh, today we're looking at a whole bunch of stuff I have in my inventory and has been sitting around for too long. This is the work of some buy orders that I set up on Manco.store and on my bot. Um, so I have a ton of items. I got 20 pages of Trade Ups to go through here. Uh, well, the 20 plus I've got some strange ones at the end to do here. Um, so there's a lot of Trade Ups in this video. So if you're here for some lo-fi vibes and some relaxed trade-ups, I'm going to walk you through the probabilities of each trade-up. All of these are going to be profitable, and some of them are even more profitable than the current market rate because I got them for cheaper. So strap in. We're going to start with the cheap ones and go up from there. I'll try to bookmark the video so you can skip ahead if you want to skip all the mercenary trade-ups and just go to the big fancy ones. Some of the highlights in the video is stuff like the strange captain spaceman that can be traded up into either a star duster or a geiger counter that's a strange one so that could be a strange star duster or a strange geiger counter which are worth tons that's a five dollar item just to trade up one of these we have the strange cadet visor which can trade up to a strange capper a strange phononaut or a strange jupiter jetpack we also have a strange space diver we have two of those same collection okay so we're going to start with the lower tiered ones here. I think the first one on my list, my cheapest item, is the Sar Platinum from the Blue Moon collection. Uh, and we'll go up from there. The time of recording key price in metal is 59.33 refined. Nice to see that start to kind of go down. And the key price in cash is down to $1.58 US. A whole 91 cents cheaper than the in-game store. Consider checking it out with my referral link in the description. I am sponsored by Manco.store, and if you make a purchase using the link, I'd help support the channel. Okay, I've got them all loaded up here. The top items we can get out of this are the Veteran's Attire and the Blizzard Bridges. Our cost to open is going to be 0.51 keys. If you're buying this right now, it's uh, the cheapest it's going to be is 0.49 to 0.52. Uh, looking profitable because the expected value is 0.61 keys. Okay, let's do this first trade up. This is trade up number number one. We get Aristotle. That one is our worst hit. Uh, not a good start. That's a loss of 0 0.42 keys. Okay, let's try our luck again. Number two. We get the Starboard Crusader. That's our third best hit. That's worth 0.73 keys, giving us a quarter of a key of profit on that trade up. Okay, moving on to number three. Let's see what we get. This one is Veteran's Attire. That's our best hit. That's worth 1.58 keys, giving us a profit of 1.08 keys. This is uh, great to great to see. Keep in mind, each option is equally likely. So just like I could get Aristotle, I can get Veteran's Attire. So don't count on getting this every time, but it's nice to see it early. Okay, still got more Sar Platinums. So we're going to be trading up number four. Hey, another Veteran's Attire. That is another profit of 1.58 keys. Uh, overall, we're up almost two keys. This is a great start. Okay, we're gonna do half Star Platinums and half the Tundra Top. Uh, they're both the same price that I bought them for and they're the same collection. So the same ones coming up here. This will be number five, I think. Yeah, number five. get Punk's Pump. That's a loss of 0.23 keys. Okay, these are all Tundra Chops. We're moving on to number five. Wait. Hmm. I don't know. We're moving on to number six. There we go. That one is Scourge of the Sky. That's uh, a little bit of a loss at 0.1 keys. 
Okay, going on to lucky number seven, all tundra top still. Another Aristotle. Not so great. More tundra tops. This is number eight. This one can have a smiley face. We get blizzard bridges. That's our second best hit. That's worth 1.09 keys, giving us a 0.59 key profit. Okay, keep it on, number nine. This time I will put the smiley face inside the number nine. Hey, another Blizzard Bridges. That's great. Another uh, 0.6 keys of profit. More Tukes to trade in. This is our 10th Blue Moon trade up. The smiley faces are evolving. Great. Another Veteran's Attire. That's 1.58 keys of value, giving us more than a key of profit. We're doing phenomenally. Our total cost so far is around five keys and we've made eight and a half keys. So we're doing fantastically better than our expected value of uh, around 6.1 keys or 2.4 keys above that. So yeah, wow, this is great. Okay, trade up number 11, it's still Blue Moon Cosmetics. That one is Starboard Crusader. Great. A little bit of a profit at 0.22 keys. Okay, going on to number 12. I forgot the smiley face last time. Maybe that was the problem. Nope, that wasn't the problem. <laughs> we get another Aristotle. Our third one in 12. Uh, not fun. Okay. Number 13, and I better not see one of those birds. Uh, oh no, I tried to draw a bird. This is a bad idea. It's really hard to draw with the mouse. No birds. I don't even care if you look a little concerned, bird. No Aristotles here. Number 13. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right. Well, birds of a feather, you know how they say. These are my uh, last Tundra tops. Uh, we're going to move on to the head hedges here. Again, same price, same collection, same trade up. That'll be blue moons for a little while here still. If you're bored of these trade-ups, feel free to skip ahead. This is number 14. And you know what? Birds are allowed. Sure. Sweet. Blizzard bridges. That's a uh, 0.6 keys of profit. Okay. We got a full set of head hedges here. Let's get them out of here. Number 15. Sweet. Another veteran's attire. If uh, any of these are looking interesting to you, feel free to trade with one of my bots, or even better, go and do one of these trade-ups yourself. I can't really provide a great spreadsheet to do your own calculations, but you can kind of get a sense of what it's like on the left. If any of these prices change drastically, like the cost to open goes up, or the value goes down, might not be worth it, but with the cost to open being 0.51 keys and the expected value being 0.61, you got a lot of wiggle room there. All right, moving up, number 16. Full of head hedges. Another starboard crusader, a little bit of a profit. More hedges, more trade-ups. 
going on to number 17. Awesome. We're getting really lucky with these. That's our fourth veteran's attire in 17 trade-ups. That's certainly above the 14.29% we expect. Feel great about that. We're up a total of 5.78 keys on our investment of 8.61 keys. And uh, that profit graph at the top uh, for the lifetime of our series continues to go back up towards a, <laughs> well, uh, a total profit of zero. <laughs> what are we at? We're at uh, minus 90 so far and slowly crawling our way back up. Okay, we got number 18 now. Wow, <laughs> another veteran's attire. I promise I'm not cutting these together. These are in the order I do them and I show them good or bad. Uh, wow, this is great so far. Let's uh, let's do another one and see if the streak continues. This will be number 19. Nope. Our friend Aristotle is back. Hello Aristotle. Goodbye our investment. More head hedges. Maybe that's where all the birds are coming from. From the, uh, the hedges. This is number 20. Yep. <laughs> Hello, Aristotle. Okay, more hedges. This is number 21. Blizzard Bridges. That's our second best hit. Okay, let's go hunting for more birds. Number 22. Hey, Scourge of the Sky. We've only seen that one once before. A little bit of a loss, but good to see a variety. Makes it easier to sell. Okay, that's the last of the hedges. Maybe the last of the birds. Uh, we're gonna get a Sky High Fly Guy in there, and then we've got more of those coming up. Uh, same cost, same price, same collection, same trade up. Let's do number 23. Another punk's pop. Okay, sky high fly guy. Hopefully not flying with some birds. Number 24. Blizzard britches, awesome. Oh, and there's a minor data error. I shorted on the cost a little bit there. There we go, that should be fixed. More sky high fly guys. This is number 25. And another blizzard bridges. Awesome. It feels so good to get these out of my inventory because they are taking up a lot of space. That's something I didn't really consider when buying a bunch of cheap items is that I'd have to buy a bunch of backpack expanders. Anyways, our next one here is Scourge of the Sky. A little bit of a loss. Now we all know who the real Scourge of the Sky is, and it's Aristotle. I don't want to see much more of that bird. Okay, number 27. Hey, there he is. <laughs> see you later, Aristotle. Okay, another one. Number 28. Punk Spomp. We'll keep going. Number 29. Sweet. Another Blizzard Bridges. We'll keep on trading. This is number 30 of the video and of this collection.
Scourge of the Sky. Number 31. Sweet, more blizzard riches. Number 32. Scourge of the Sky. Okay, this is the last of my Sky High Fly Guys. We're gonna get some Assassin's Attire in here now. Those ones I paid a little bit more, um, closer to the sell price. 10 of these cost me about 0.53 keys, which is about the market rate if you're going to buy them directly from bots instead of putting buy orders in, but still profitable. We'll keep going. This is number 33. Starbard Crusader. Okay, this one's all assassin attire, and the cost will update to reflect that. Number 34. Veterans attire, sweet. Going from assassin's attire to veterans attire is a trade up I will do all day long. Number 35. Nope. <laughs> Aristotle here to remind me that variance is a thing, and I can pull the worst hit right after the best hit. More Assassin's Attire. More randomly generated goodness. This is number 36. Hey. <laughs> we go Veterans Attire, Aristotle, and back to Veterans Attire. It's an Aristotle sandwich. Okay. More clothes being traded up. It's a shame they get destroyed with a trade up. Uh, but that's how this market works. Hey, veterans attire. Sweet. That's a great duo of trade ups. Okay, can we pull it off a third time? This is number 38, I think. Burning question. How have we not seen that one so far? <laughs> I got scared. I thought we got an unusual or something. Um, which isn't possible with a trade-up, so... <laughs> have we really not seen that one the entire time? Crazy. Okay. I guess that's how it works sometimes. There's another world where I haven't seen veterans attire until now, so... You know. It's how the RNG works in this game, is it doesn't really owe you anything. It just is random every time. So you could get Burning Question over and over again. You could get Veterans Attire over and over again. It's roll of the dice every time. I'm surprised. <laughs> so surprised we hadn't seen this one. Uh, it's just as bad as Aristotle. Our second uh, <laughs> worst one here. Okay, more trade-ups. This is number 39. More blizzard britches, keeping us warm for the holiday season. This will be number 40. Starting to get tired of Blue Moon cosmetic trade ups. We'll be done with them soon. Another Starboard Crusader. I think we got three more in us. Here's a few more. Number 41. Pop. Okay. Number 42. Square to the sky. Okay. This is the last one with a blue moon mercenary trade up. I'm filling the rest with some winter 2022. And we'll see what we get. Our new best option is a Firebrand, which comes from that Winter 2022 collection. There's also an Underminer's Overcoat, which we'd like to see. Let's see what we get. This is number 43. 
Okay, we still see our last mercenary blue moon collection in here. Okay, uh, so we're going to finish off my winter 2022 collection uh, and also get some of the new winter 2023 collection. Um, I think that the mercenary items are pretty cheap right now with everyone opening them and there's some great commando items in there like the torturous trench coat. So <laughs> we'll see how this works out. This one is number 44. Isotopic insulator. It's a bit of a loss, but uh, that's all right. This will be easier to sell. My uh, my total costs and uh, expected values might have been a little messed up the last two. I fixed a minor data error, just would have been visible in the last two trade-ups. All the tracing graphs should be looking correct now. Okay, this one's going to be exclusively winter 2023. This is number 45. Blue hairdo. A little bit of a profit. Okay, more winter 2023. This time I'm bringing in some Balkans Brutes. This one is number 46. We get the Frigid Fashion. That is our worst hit. Hello, our new Aristotle. More of the same, just using Impact Impalers and Rugged Rags this time. This one is number 47. Blue hairdo. Okay, our last Winter 2023 trade-up, and I'm sacrificing one that's worth a little more, the Wanderer's Wool, uh, but I put buy orders on my bot for the same price for all of these. They were all uh, buy orders for the cheapest version, uh, so it's worth the same trading up. Uh, maybe could get a little more trading, but uh, you know what, it's worth the content. This one is number 48, and I think that's going to be it for Mercenaries. Our third clue hairdo. Okay, so uh, not that much in terms of the winter 2023 cosmetics. Okay, our next trade up is our first commando trade up, uh, and it's going to be 10 of the Ghoulish Gains collections. There's only four options two of them worth more than a key, two of them worth less than a key. So we have a 50% chance to make a profit here. The normal cost to open is 0.84 keys, but because I got a sweet price for them with buy orders on Manco.store. My cost to open is more like 0.55 keys. So this is looking pretty great, even with a Victorian villainy. We uh, still make a little bit of a profit here. Let's see what we get. This is trade up number 49. And of course, we get the worst possible hit Road Rage. We lose about half a key. Okay. Another trade-up of the Ghoulish Gains. My cost is a little bit higher because I paid a little bit more for Roadblock. This is number 50, I think. Let's see what we get. We get Alcoholic Automaton. It's worth 1.07 keys, giving us a 0.5 key profit. Great. All right, the next one is only roadblocks and same collection. Let's take a look at number 51. Victorian villainy. Okay, that one is, uh, well, just break even. And that's thanks to my lower cost to open. Okay. Uh, I've got some more roadblocks, and this time I got some Headhunter's Brim. Same cost for these. I think the Headhunter's Brim trades for a little more, but it's, uh, you know, all the same cost to me, so I'm happy. This 
chest is number 52. Another road rage. Another loss. Okay, more headhunters brim. I'll trade it up. This is number 53. Another alcoholic automaton. Great. Okay, another one of the same items. This is number 54. Another alcoholic to add to our collection. Okay, our next one has the rest of my headhunter's brims and some safety stripes. Number 55. And our third alcoholic automaton in a row. Okay, moving up in the ghoulish collection, uh, we've got eight safety stripes. And two masked fiends. This will be number 56. Wow. Apparently all we can get are alcoholic automatons. Great. It's all profit. Okay. Another trade up. This time it's all masked fiends. And my cost continues to creep up. This time I'm up to 0.75 for my cost to trade up. Expected value is still a 0.1 key profit, so I'm still happy. This is number 57. That one's a cranial cow. That's the one I see a lot of soldiers wearing in game. Uh, and it's worth one and a half keys for a 0.75 key profit. Great. Um, again, if you're planning on doing this trade up, my cost was lower than what the market rate might be. Uh, so do your own calculations for your cost to open. Make sure you peep the, uh, the prices for the items on the left to see if they've changed at all. And uh, if they've dropped, that'll reduce the expected value. Okay, this is the last bits of our ghoulish gains. We're going to start doing some summer 2022s. Uh, our expected value is going to go down and our cost to open is going to go down. So we're looking at a 0.13 key profit on this specific mixed trade up. Uh, hoping to get a Kazan Karategi. Uh, I'm sure I've butchered that. <laughs> I didn't look that up before I started. Let's see what we get. Number 58. we get a headbanger. That's not a great hit, but thankfully that's going to fuel a assassin trade up later in the video. Hey, uh, this will be the end of the summer 2022 collection uh, and dipping into the summer 2023, uh, starting to be a better trade up with an expected value of 0.93 keys. I think that's coming from the 2023 collection. Let's see what we get. This is number 59. <laughs> I don't think I've seen this hat. Uh, or maybe I have, and it's hilarious. Uh, how do I spell this? Monsieur Grenville. Uh, that is a loss, but I <laughs> it's a smoking frog. That's awesome. <laughs> Okay, starting to get into some of the more expensive trade-ups where the expected value is 1.1 keys. This one's going to be entirely summer 2023. Uh, the cost I paid for these 10 items is 0.7 keys. Um, your cost if you're doing just summer 2023 is going to be something like 0.73 to 0.86. And that's still profitable on average. Uh, I mean, check the math yourself, but I like this trade-up as well. Let's see what we get out of this one. This is number 60. All right. Brother man. Love it. 
that is 1.31 keys uh, for a 0.6 key profit. Okay, this next one is a mix up of summer 2023 uh, and a few of the winter 2022s. Um, both are profitable, both I got at a cheap rate. Uh, my cost to open is 0.82, expected value is 1.23. Let's see what we get. Is this is number 61. Another brother man. Great, still profitable. Okay, I took a quick break in between. Um, I, I had to go to sleep. Um, it's a new day. Uh, the key price is 59.33 refined. Key price is $1.59 US. Um, this trade up is going to be a mix of uh, some strange combat casuals, which are from summer 2022, uh, another uh, strange throttle head from summer 2022. A winter 2017 strange pocket Santa. I got two of those, and I got two winter 2022 uh, strange soft hard hats. Uh, so let's trade that up. Our best option is going to be the cat's pajamas at 5.3 keys, uh, and let's hope we get it. This one is number 62. Good luck. Strange melody of misery. Well, that's not a good sign. Mm, okay, slight problem. I uh, I forgot to change it to strange, and I forgot to change it from commando to mercenary. So there's there's the correct probabilities. The best hit would have been a strange firebrand or a Hawaiian hangover. Uh, we get a middle of the road hit here at uh, 0.69 keys. That's a little bit of a loss at 0.17. Okay. This next trade up has some more summer 2022s. Uh, we have seven of those. We have two winter 2017s. And our extra special one is this abominable trade up. And so let's see what we get out of this one. My cost is 0.69 keys. Expected value is more than a key. So I'm optimistic. This is number 63. We get a strange squatters, right? Not what we wanted, that's towards the bottom. Okay, this next one has uh, three of those abominable uh, Conaker's utility idols and seven of the blue moon strange head hedges. Let's hope not very strange Aristotle. There's a 10% chance we see it. I wanna see strange veterans attire or blizzard bridges. Let's see what we get. This is number 64. That strange scourge of the sky, a little bit of a profit there, one and a half keys. I like it. Okay, from here on out, all of the trade-ups are going to be worth uh, a key or more. Um, this one's going to be a tried and true bone chilling bonanza trade-up. Um, I picked these up for pretty cheap and uh, it's still profitable. Expected value is 1.67 keys on my cost of 1.01 keys. Let's see what we get. Number 65. Hey, 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 great start. Clowns cover up. That's worth four keys. A three key profit. Awesome. All right, for our next one, again, 10 Dell Dynamics. Uh, my cost to open is a little higher. I bought these on my bot. Uh, at 1.24 keys total. Um, expected value is still profitable. We're making half a key on average. Let's see what we get. Number 66. We get a mad lad. That one is the second worst one. Uh, so a little bit of a loss. 0.26 keys. Same trade up again, same cost. Let's go to number 67. Power spike, middle of the road. We're up 0.25 keys on that trade up. Okay, same collection, same trade up, different cost. I'm trading up sharpshooter shrouds this time. The cost to trade up is 1.13 keys. Uh, I'm expecting a profit. Let's see what we get. Number 68. A 
another power spike. Same deal. Let's run it back with the sharpshooter shrouds. This is number 69. Sweet. Clowns cover up. That's another four keys, giving us a little over three keys, of, or a little under three keys of profit. We're doing it again. We got a few more of these to do yet. Uh, Sharpshooter Shroud. This is number 70. Power Spike. All right. We're doing it again. Number 71. Last laugh. That's our second best hit. That's a profit of 0.75 keys. Uh, my apologies. Last one should have been a profit of 0.34 keys because I forgot to update the cost. The cost I'm paying is 1.21 keys for all those sharpshooter shrouds because uh, I bought them from my bot. Okay, same deal. Sharpshooter shrouds. Number 72. That was a messy 72. <laughs> Hey, but we're rewarded for our poor penmanship with a clown's cover-up. That's another four keys of value. Okay, this one's half sharpshooter shrouds and half classic criminals. Same trade-up. We're going on to number 73. We get the last laugh. It's a little bit of profit. Okay, this one is Classic Criminals and a main cast. Same trade up. Going to 74. Mad Lad. A little bit of a loss. Okay, this next one's just uh, main cast. Cost is creeping up slowly as I'm <laughs> trading up the more expensive items I bought. Uh, this one's at 1.23 keys. This is number 75. Power spike. A little bit of a profit. Okay, let's do it again. Number 76. Sightseer was bound to come up. That's the least valuable one of the group. We lose almost a full key there. Okay, more main cast. Getting out of here. This is lucky number 77. Another power spike. Okay, doing it again. Number 78. Another power spike. Okay, this is the last of my casts. Let's get him out of here. Number 79. Another sightseer. We're losing a key. Okay, moving up in cost a little bit onto the Warlock War Cloaks. I'm paying 1.26 keys for this trade up. We're at number 80. Oh, another sightseer. Okay. Let's do it again. Number 81. The last laugh. We uh, gain a third of a key there. Okay, more work, cloaks. Number 82. We get the last laugh again. Okay, 10 more work, cloaks. Number 83. Another power spike. One more. 
This is number 84. Mad lad. And we'll do it again. Number 85. One is another sightseer. Ah, shame to see. Number 86. Oh, two sightseers in a row. Let's do it again. Number 87. Mad lad. Okay, we're out of war cloaks. We're moving on to stunt suits. This one's gonna cost 1.29, and it's trade up number 88. Another power spike. Okay, we're out of stunt suits. Moving on to dead heats. This one hurts a little the trade up. Uh, but I've got too many of them. I'm certainly not selling uh, the 30 to 60 I have, so let's trade them up. Number 89. Power spike. Alright, this one's all dead heats. And it's number 90. That's the last laugh. Okay, we'll do it again. Buy dead heat. Number 91. A really small number, I guess. <laughs> oh, sightseer. I want my, <laughs> I want my 10 dead heats back. That's terrible. Okay, more dead heats to be turned into sightseers. is number 92. That's mad lad. Let's do it again. Number 93. Oh, another sightseer. Ouch. Okay, more dead heats. Number 94. That's the last laugh. Okay, these are the last of my dead heats. We're gonna start breaking into the jumping jesters. This is number 95. Another last laugh. Okay, this one's all jumping jesters. My cost is up to 1.46 keys to open uh, based on what I paid for these, uh, but we're still expecting 0.2 keys of profit. This is number 96. That's a mad lad. More jumping jesters jumping into this trade up. This is number 97. That's the last laugh. Alright, more jumping jesters. Number 98. Mad lad. Let's keep going. Number 99. Another last laugh. I, uh, I messed up the cost for the last two trade-ups. It should have been 0.2 keys lower. 
um, just based on what I paid on my bot. Uh, this trade up is going to be more jumping jesters. My cost is 1.26. This is trade up number 100 of this video. Wow. I didn't really think I had this many, but with <laughs> that many pages, it makes sense. Power spike. Okay. We'll do some more jumping gestures. This is number 101. The last laugh. Seeing a lot of last laughs and not as many clown cover-ups as I hoped for. Oh well. Okay, we're gonna do a similar trade-up. This time all the items are strange. So the cost to open, yeah, these are all going to start bumping up a lot now. The cost to open is three keys. The expected value is a uh, 6.18 keys. Um, I did just sell a Strange Clowns cover up for 15 keys through my bot. I felt pretty good about that. Um, that range is gigantic and, you know, affects the expected value here. Um, it can go as slow as 8.52 based on what people have buy orders for. Uh, but, you know, let's let's see what we get when the expected value is plus three keys. Uh, I'm willing to try it. Okay, this is trade-up number 102. And I'm going to start drawing hearts and smiles. Oh, this is a very awkward smile. Because these are the big trade-ups. These are the ones we got to worry about. Okay. 102. It's gonna be nice to us, right? Strange clowns cover up. Let's see it. Oh, the second best hit. Strange last laugh. So we get up to 6.33 keys. That's a three key profit, and that's an awesome trade up. Oh, even better. I forgot to enter the correct cost in uh, based on some of the cheaper prices my bot was paying so that cost is actually 2.77 so that's a profit of three and a half keys that is awesome okay we've got another assortment of strange bone chilling items to trade up this one's a little pricier of a trade up at 3.53 keys but still making 2.65 keys on average we're hoping for those top uh, four I guess anything but a sightseer is a profit for us here Let's see what we get. Number 103. Oh, I forgot to put the hearts. And this heart can wear a hat. And it's an unusual hat. Great. And the heart is happy. Strange Mad Lad is the second worst hit. That's a huge range from one key to 3.67 keys. We'll see what we get for it. I'm going to remain optimistic and we'll say we get 3.67 keys. Uh, so it's a little bit of a profit, uh, a little bit of a dicey profit, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I think this is going to be our last strange bone chilling trade up. Uh, we've got a main cast and a stunt suit, both strange. Uh, these were mostly from my bot, and so the cost's a little cheaper at 3.16 keys. Let's see what we get. Number 104. And Manco can be on fire this time. It's more like spiky hair. You get some cool sunglasses. You know, as I drew it, I realized how not cool these were. Can we redeem it with a big grin? No. Oh, my lines are messy. It's a good thing I open crates and I'm not an artist. Let's see how number 104 goes. Oh, no. <laughs> Strange sights here. Unlucky. That's all right. We lose 1.4 keys there, thanks to the low cost to open. Um, that one's gonna suck to sell. Although I use the uh, Sightseer on my sniper, so maybe uh, maybe I'll keep it around, who knows. Okay, this next one is a pricey one. Our cost to open is 5.72 keys. We've got half of these headbangers that can be traded up into a decorated veteran or Rocco, and the other half are Mayflower cosmetics. 
uh, which can be traded up into the Deadhead or the Bedouin Bandana. Uh, the one we want to get is a Deadhead. Uh, that one's 15 keys. Uh, we have a 25% chance of getting it. A okay one to get would be the Bandana. Um, decorated Veteran is a bit of a loss and Rocco is a total loss. Let's do it. This is like opening five crates and one trade up. Uh, let's see what we get. This is number 105. And what are we going to draw? Just going to write, please. Please get me the deadhead. All right. We get Rocco, and that is a big loss. We lose four-ish keys in one trade-up. Uh, that sucks. Okay, this uh, next one features a bunch of different winter uh, collections. Um, we've got seven winter 22s, two winter 18s, and one winter 16. Our cost here is a little higher than I might have wanted. Uh, I probably could have got away with 2.9 keys. I paid 3.36 keys, um, but overall expected value is still up a key. Let's see what we get out of this. We have some really cool hits all over the place. Uh, some of the likely hits at the top are Strange Wooly Pulley and Strange Battle Bear. Uh, a less likely hit is a Strange Polar Pal. Um, another likely one is Motley Sleeves. A really cool one to get would be that Strange Head Prize, but I think that's coming from the one uh, winter 2016 in here um, so we'll see <laughs> we'll see what shows up here overall this works out to uh, an expected value of 4.46 keys let's see if number 106 is good to us oh <laughs> Strange Wooly Pulley, our best hit here. That brings us up 4.45 keys. Uh, I mean, it was our most, how to say it, it wasn't our best hit, but it was our best likely hit. It gave us the most expected value. That's why it's the top of the list. Um, so this is, you know, a really great case of how this uh, could have gone traded up. Uh, you know, there was only two hits better than it, but they were both way less likely. Um, so yeah, I'm, ha I'm real happy with this one. You know, I think that's exactly the cosmetic I'm missing <laughs> from my set. I don't know, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Um, maybe I should have kept the uh, the old coat. But uh, yeah, if you missed it, uh, I got some great unusuals in my winter unboxing video. Make sure you check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Okay, this is a big one. This has lots of drama in it. We have some winter 2017s, summer 2023s, another winter 2016, but we have this quarantine collection, Captain Spaceman in Strange. Uh, this one itself is worth uh, about three keys to buy, uh, but it has a 50% uh, chance, well, it can be a Starduster or a Geiger counter when you trade it up, both Strange. The Geiger counter is worth 53 keys, the Starduster is worth 12, so it's a pretty awesome trade-up if we get it. Um, <laughs> there's also some not-so-great ones in here. We've got the snow ring at the bottom, cranium cover, um, but there's a whole range of things with a whole mess of uh, different strange commando trade-up options. Uh, so <laughs> we'll see what we get. I don't expect to hit the strange Captain Spaceman trade-up. Uh, it would be lovely if I get a strange Geiger counter out of this, but uh, I don't expect to be making, uh, you know, 50 keys on this. On average, I'm making a key, but given how weird it is uh, with the Geiger counter coming up only 5% of the time, uh, I don't expect to get it. Uh, if you're <laughs> if you're someone who plays Dungeons and Dragons, a 5% chance is the chance that you get a perfect 20. So let's see if we can get a natural 20 on our trade up here. This is number 107, and you know, I've never ever tried to draw a d20. Uh, something like this, I'm sure. I, 
think I've messed up the, the points here. But uh, something like that, it's going to show up as a natural 20, right? Let's see what we get. Number 107, hoping for a strange Geiger counter or any of the profitable ones. Let's see what we get. We get Strange Flame Warrior. That is not a strange Geiger counter, uh, and it's a loss of 3.6 keys. Not what we hoped for, but hey, we only had a 5% chance of getting the big one here. We didn't get it. We'll get it one day. I, uh, I missed out on these two trade-ups. Uh, I don't have enough assassin grade items to trade them up. Uh, so if you want to see me trade up this strange frag proof fragger and this strange cold case, uh, make sure you're subscribed so you can check it out next time I do a big trade up video like this. Okay, this will be the last trade up of the video. Uh, I've got six of the strange head hedges again, uh, and I've got four confidential collection items, uh, the strange cadet visor and the strange space diver. These can be traded up into a capper, phononaut, or Jupiter jetpack. You can see the capper is the one we're looking for at uh, 44 keys. Uh, not really any other great options. I mean, the veteran's attire is great. Uh, the phononaut is okay. Um, but ultimately, we're putting in 7.17 keys. On average, we're making a 0.72 keys profit. Uh, this is certainly risky. I wouldn't advise you to take something like this. <laughs> Betting... Uh, 7.17 keys to make you know 0.72 keys uh, a year only making a profit 13% of the time but it is a massive profit um, we're gonna see what we get here we're gonna be sad when it's a strange Aristotle that is not what I want to see um, so let's see what we get this is the last trade-up of the video and it's number 108 Dreaming of a strange capper. Let's see what we get. We get a strange scourge of the sky. That's one of the lower hits. We lose five keys at the end of our video here. And that's okay. It was a risky one. I'm doing it for the content here. Um, <laughs> these are still good trade ups, and there's still one I'll try in the future. Um, just like the strange crits Craig, if you uh, haven't seen that video. I plan to come back to these and eventually we'll win on this on the long run. As long as it still makes sense to do the trade-ups, I'll keep doing them. I don't have a great uh, trade-up overview at the end here. So we'll just look at the number at the bottom left. Our total value was 124.62 keys. That's a profit of 10.54 keys. Uh, you can see the total cost was 114 keys traded up. I just summed up all of the expected profits of all my trade-ups. Um, we were expecting to get a profit of 37.61 keys. Um, I don't have it up on my screen, I apologize. We did 10.54 keys, so we're about 27 keys lower in profit than our expected value, which is a shame. Uh, and I guess a little bit disappointing. We did lose a bunch of keys. We lost 21 keys in the last uh, six trade-ups. Uh, so maybe, maybe I don't take these risky ones. Maybe I do. I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments if you're enjoying these riskier trade-ups or if you'd like to see, you know, the consistent, always good trade-ups. Let me give you a range of what I expect to sell things for here. If I were to sell it on my bot, I would list it at the sell price. Um, if I wanted to sell quickly though, I could sell it to people who have buy orders on sites, which would be much lower. So the low end of what I'm going to sell these for would be 87.14 keys, and the high end is what you see in the video here, which is 124 keys. Um, so look at anywhere from a loss of uh, up to 25 keys to a profit of 10.54 keys. Um, I expect to be a little more patient with these. I'm not going to be throwing them at buy orders really quickly. They'll be up on my bot if you want to uh, buy any of these for me. Um, if you've been opening crates over the holidays, you want to send me some items that uh, I can trade up. My bots are always buying. You can take a look at my bots classifieds, um, and I'll buy a whole bunch of stuff you've opened up. And if you want to use that as inspiration for what to trade up on your own, um, I can't guarantee that what my bots are buying for are uh, profitable. 
but uh, I update the prices every so often and they uh, they tend to be doing good trade-ups so feel free to try to purchase the same things that my bots are buying anyways uh, let me know what you thought of this this was kind of a mixed bag of trade-ups we got to do some big ones some little ones some consistently good ones um, we got some cool items if we uh, look at everything here um, you have to excuse I traded in the middle here. Oh, I hate these Aristotles. Can I trade these up? I don't even know if it's profitable, but I'm so sick of these birds. I gotta get rid of these. Yeah, let's get some jumping gestures in there. Okay, well, as a send-off to the video and as a bonus trade-up, we're gonna trade away the Aristotles. Uh, Really, there's nothing good that comes out of trading up these Aristotles other than they get removed from my inventory. Um, the expected value, uh, you know, I don't really know what my cost to open is here. I've got it listed at the buy order price for the Aristotles. Um, so really, I hope for that 4% chance of a clown's cover up and or a last laugh or power spike. Really, I just want the, uh, the 10% the 20 percent that it's going to be a bone trade up and you know if it's a if it's a blue moon trade up then so be it so uh bye see you later aristotle sweet the cold case we lose 0.3 keys at the end here and that's not a big deal because I turned my birds into some cold brews. Well, ultimately, I'm pretty happy with how that went. That's all I got for today. I still love the smoking frog. Uh, I've been picking up some of these festive weapons. If you have any of these old festive weapons you're not using, my bot's buying them, but uh, it, you know, it's really just uh, my bot's banking them. Um, I'm picking them off as I see them come in because there's some that I want in my collection. Um, so if you if you have a festive item uh, that I don't have in my inventory, uh, I'd love to get a trade offer from you personally because um, I'm interested in uh, completing the collection. I, uh, I'm also on the hunt for uh, my pyro loadout. I want to get some strange parts uh, on my degreaser and make it strange. I want to get my strange uh, uh, Scorch shot. Don't hate me for using it uh, <laughs> I was away for the game from 10 years and this didn't exist when I last played so I, I'm gonna have my time to play with it before I get sick of it um, so uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be buying a strange scorch shot with uh, some war paints that I like I still got to figure out a war paint I want for the power jack and you know a war paint I want for the degreaser so if you're if you're a pyro main, um, I'd love to hear what you use for your loadout, because uh, I'm trying to figure it out myself. If you're new to the channel, I was away from the game for like a decade. I, I played a couple Halloweens here and there just to try out the updates, but you know, the bot crisis made that pretty hard. It wasn't until September, after a TF2 meetup in Seattle, that I got back into the game. Uh, so I've just missed out on... <laughs> on 10 years of balance and weapon changes. I mean, back when I played, it was the uh, the flare gun and the axe extinguisher. And you'd get combo pyro where you'd hit them with the degreaser, you'd follow up with the flare gun, and then you'd finish it off with the axe extinguisher all in one go. Uh, now, uh, <laughs> they, they nerfed the axe extinguisher uh, so that combo doesn't work out super well. So anyways, that ramble was just to say that I'm uh, I'm interested in and decking out my collection so hit me up in the comments if you got something to offer or send me a trade offer you can find that in the description anyways that is all for today my pyro is gonna wave goodbye and uh you take care of yourself out there it's the middle of winter it's the holiday season for some people holidays are great some people holidays aren't so just uh reach out to your friends and supports when you need them and you know try to pay it forward to people you love this season and yeah take care of yourself if you're opening crates or doing trade-ups make sure you're doing it from a level rational place and not from a panicked anxious gotta make it big place just have fun this season okay that's it for today take care and goodbye <laughs>